ignore Ansible SSH host key checking. How to avoid the SSH host key checking at the beginning of every Ansible execution in our laboratory, CI-CD pipeline or cloud computing provider. I'm going to show you a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome to today's episode of Ansible Pilot. SSH host key. A host key is a cryptographic key used for authenticating computer in the SSH protocol. Host key are generally generated automatically when SSH is first installed or when the computer is firstly booted. In a production environment, it's considered a security mechanism to verify our machine has not been altered. However, in a developer laboratory, often we need to destroy our machine and recreate them. This behavior stops the Ansible execution and requires some manual developer work. We can apply this behavior also in a CI-CD pipeline or cloud computing provider. Demo time! How to ignore Ansible SSH host key checking in our Ansible laboratory? I'm going to show you how to create an Ansible.cfg file to ignore the SSH host key checking at the beginning of Ansible Playbook execution. Are you ready? Let's have fun! I did some homework checking the Ansible documentation in the website and I find out host underscore key underscore checking boolean. This is a simple variable that defines the behavior of the SSH host key. So basically we can set this variable to true or false, default is true, via environmental variable or Ansible configuration file. These are two examples and now we are moving to my editor. Welcome to my editor. This is a simple text editor. So let's start typing the ansible.cfg file. This is any format file. So we can start with bracket and the standard section is called defaults. And let's type the value of host underscore key underscore checking and this property we would like to set to false and that's it done obviously when we would like to force uh, the checking we need to switch this property to true this is a simple boolean that changes the behavior of ansible i already prepared a simple ping yml playbook that uses the ansible built-in ping module to check that hosts all of my inventory are available. And what's in my inventory? Well, I have only one host, demo.example.com. Are you ready to have fun? Welcome to my terminal. I already prepared all the file that we saw in the editor in my current directory. So, first of all, let me verify the SSH host key in my case, uh, let me log in to my host uh, with a user devops uh, at uh, demoexample.com. This is uh, a virtual machine that I'm using in my laboratory, but could be a server in your cloud computing provider, could be a CI CD pipeline. As you can see, I was not connecting to this host and is asking me to accept the SSH host key. This is a good behavior in a production environment to verify that uh, the host is not altered. But if we run our Ansible playbook in the current directory, I already set up the Ansible configuration to with a host key checking to false. So now let me run my playbook using the Ansible-Playbook utility. This is a standard utility included in all 
the Ansible installation. Let me specify the inventory file in the current directory and the name of my Ansible playbook. In my case, ping.yml. The execution will be super smooth and is not going to stop asking for SSH key verification. Yay! So, the host key checking is a good security feature for production environment. But for development or fast pacing environment such as a, a cloud provider, a continuous integration, a continuous deployment pipeline or a development machine, it's just such overwhelming and you can turn it off with a simple Ansible configuration variable or setting the environmental variable in your system. Yay! Great! Now let's have a fun and let's automate more. Now we know how to ignore the SSH host key checking during any Ansible execution. As we saw before, this is a very interesting uh, security measure of a SSH protocol and definitely we need to have this enabled in a production environment. But however, in a development or testing environment could be overwhelming and with a simple uh, Ansible boolean variable we can turn it off. Thank you for watching, I hope this lesson was useful for you See us on the next adventure and let's automate more. Yay! Have a great day!